Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me Sayaka and today I'm going to introduce you to this 30 day challenge to learn English. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do every day for the next 30 days. Don't forget that consistency is key. So please, please don't give up. Don't lose faith. And I guarantee you that if you follow this plan for 30 days, you will be amazed at how much progress you make with English and how this will open up your world with all sorts of new exciting experiences whether you want to travel or make international friends or understand an English movie. The whole goal of this video is to improve your English in an enjoyable way and also to boost your confidence. All right, let's get going. All right, day zero, test yourself. So day zero is here for taking a test. For this, you can go to the Cambridge University's English language assessment website and you can take an online test for free. You can also take the test at English score by the British Council. So after you finish the test, you're going to write down your test score. And this is very important to write your test score because at the end of this 30 day challenge, you're going to compare your score. All right, day one, listening. On day one here, we are going to do some listening and I want you to go to BBC's six minute English and listen to one of these audios. And it's very important to choose a video that you are interested in. Like if you're interested in history, then pick history. And if you don't understand what's going on, then click the subtitle button on so you can follow the words, then it will be easier. The important thing is to write down any words that are new to you and that you don't understand so that you can look them up later. Day two, reading. Here we are going to do some reading. So I want you to head over to the British Council's website, pick one of these stories and just read. It's important to pick something that's not too easy. You should have about three to four words you don't know. And so you can do the preparation if you want, then you can read the passage, and then you're going to answer these questions to see whether you understood the passage correctly. And here also, of course, we want to write down any unfamiliar words so that you can review them later. Day three, writing. So day number three, today we are going to write. I want you to get your notebook out and write about your ideal day for about one page. This will not only help with your English, but it will also help you with your life. Most of us are so caught up in reality and we don't even give ourselves the chance to ask, what would we be doing if we had endless opportunities? So write that down. Day four, speaking. All right, so on day number four, today we are going to speak. I want you to get out your phone, put it on selfie mode and record yourself speaking for three minutes straight about your plans for the day what you're going to do today, who you're going to meet, what meals are you going to prepare and eat. Try to take no breaks and just talk nonstop for three minutes. And it's okay even if you make mistakes. The important thing is to keep talking to the camera as if it is an imaginary friend. And if you find this challenging, I recommend you to try this even in your native language. It's because sometimes it's not even about a language problem. It's just hard to express what you're thinking even in your native language. And this will help you translate your thoughts into spoken words. So try. Day five, vocabulary. So today is day five and we are going to build up our vocabulary. So I want you to go to the list of vocabulary words that you found this week and review them. And I want you to make a sentence with each vocabulary and write that down. And then right before going to bed, I want you to read these sentences out loud. Day six, 
grammar. So today is day number six and we are going to learn some grammar. So I want you to head over to the British Council's page and we are going to pick a level. You're going to read this through and then you're going to do the test. This will take a very short time. So if you want, you can even do two. Day seven is day off. Today is day number seven, and this is your well-deserved day off because you were able to continue this journey, this program for an entire week. And so today is your treat and you can do whatever you want. You can take a break if you want, or you can do something fun. I recommend watching a Netflix show in English or you can go over to TED because they have a lot of videos that are very inspirational and educational. But the most important thing is that you are having fun on this day to make this English learning journey more enjoyable. All right, welcome to week number two and today is day eight, listening. Today, we're going to continue improving your listening skills. So I want you to head back to BBC Six Minute English and choose another audio that interests you. This time, you can try something a little bit more challenging and pick a harder topic. You can also try listening without subtitles first and then see how much you can understand. Then, if you need to, you can turn on the subtitles to catch the words that you might have missed. Write down any new vocabulary words and look them up later. Day number nine, reading. So today is day number nine, which is all about reading. So I want you to visit the same British Council website and select a reading passage that is slightly more challenging than the one you picked on day two. Take your time to read it thoroughly and again, write down any unfamiliar words. After finishing, answer the questions to test your comprehension. This step will help you gradually progress to more complex texts later on. Day 10, writing. So today is day number 10 and I want you to write about your first traveling experience. Maybe it was in another city or in another country. And please write about that for one page. You can also time yourself using a stopwatch if you want. And try to challenge yourself to use some of the new vocabulary and grammatical structures that you've learned in the past couple of days. Remember, the goal is not just to write, but to experiment with the language and express your thoughts in a more nuanced way. Day 11, speaking. Welcome to day 11. And today let's focus on practical speaking skills. So I want you to choose a topic, maybe something you are passionate about or you are interested in and speak about that again to your phone, okay? But this time you're going to do it for five minutes and I want you to record yourself and watch it back. And you're probably going to want to criticize yourself for all the grammar mistakes and all the pronunciation mistakes, but instead of doing that, we want to give yourself a pat on the back for even being able to speak continuously for five minutes in English. This is really important not to be too critical and give yourself credit for being able to speak no matter how many mistakes you make. Day 12, vocabulary. All right, so today is day 12 and today is about expanding your vocabulary even more. So you're going to go to the British Council's vocabulary site and we're going to explore a topic that you haven't explored before, like science or technology or arts. And I want you to do these tasks and write down anything you don't know, and then create a sentence using these words. Day 13, grammar. So today is day 13 and we are going to explore more advanced grammar concepts. Again, I want you to go to the British Council's grammar page and choose a topic that challenges you a little bit. And what I want you to do is I want you to work through the explanations and examples and then complete the associated exercises. Yeah. But then I want you to make three sentences 
about your day using this particular grammar structure. And then you're going to write them down in your notebook. Day 14. All right, you guys, this is day 14. This is two weeks already that you have been dedicating your time every day to English through this challenge. And so today I want you to just enjoy your day. Maybe you want to look back at your progress over the past two weeks. You can review the words you've learned, the sentences you've written, or the grammar concepts that you've also covered. And of course, if you want, you can also watch one of my YouTube videos just to do some more listening. Day 15, cultural immersion. So today is day 15 and we are going to do something fun. So today is all about immersing yourself in an English speaking culture. So I want you to watch a movie or series for about 15 minutes only in English and pay attention to different accents and uh, colloquial expressions. I also want you to engage with English speaking content online. So I want you to write a comment on someone's social media channel in English. All right. And if you don't know who's to go to, of course, you can write a comment here on this YouTube video down below or on my Instagram page. But the point is, I want you to only use English and this will help you realize that all of your effort is worth it because you can speak to a bigger community. Day 16, listening. So welcome to day 16. Today, I want to explore podcasts in English. Uh, on a topic that interests you. So I want you to go again on the BBC Six Minute English. You're gonna listen actively and write down any new words or phrases. Day 17, rating. So today is day 17 and I want you to read articles or watch news clips in English about current events with news sources like BBC or CNN. And what I want you to do is to try to summarize the main points in your own words. And you can do this either by writing or speaking. But what I want you to do is summarize what you read. This is a good way to see whether you understood what you actually read. Day 18, writing. So today is day number 18. And today we're going to write, okay? I want you to write a short essay, about a page or so, about something you watched on TV recently. It doesn't have to be too complex. It could also be about your favorite K-pop group or just like an interesting movie you saw. You're gonna write about that, okay? Day 19, speaking. So today is day number 19 and we are going to do some pronunciation practice. So I want you to go to any of my YouTube videos and after each sentence I say, repeat what I say. And I want you to mimic my pronunciation and also intonation. And of course, I want you to write down any words you don't understand. Day 20, vocabulary. Today is day 20 and I want you to take a moment to review the vocabulary that you've collected this week so far. And I want you to create a quiz for yourself using flashcards. You should try to make sentences again with this and this will reinforce what you've learned and help commit these words to long-term memory. Day 21, listening. So for day 21, we are going to continue with listening skills. So for today, I want you to go to TED. You're going to pick a video here on the website and I want you to listen actively and pay attention to pronunciation and intonation. And of course, as usual, please write down any new vocabulary words or phrases. Day 22, reading. So it's day 22 today, and we're going to select a short article again from the British Council. And what I want you to do is to read through carefully by yourself in your mind and then read out loud and then write down any unfamiliar words. You can also take the test to see whether you understood the passage. Day 23, writing. So today is day 23 and we're going to dedicate some time to writing skills. So I want you to open your notebook and I want you to write a day in your life 
in your future in five years. And oh my gosh, this is not only going to improve your English skills, but this is also a fun exercise that will help you look into your future. And you're going to write about this for one page. Day 24, grammar. So today I want you to choose a grammar topic from the British Council's page. You're going to read through the explanations and examples and then practice with the provided exercises. But then what I want you to do is to go back to your notebook, look at what you wrote yesterday and see whether you can rewrite some sentences using the new grammatical structure you just learned. Day 25, vocabulary. So this is day 25 and we are almost there at the end. And so today we're going to do some vocabulary. So what I want you to do is take out your phone, record yourself in selfie mode and talk about your day in English and when you come across a word that you don't know how to express, like you don't know how to say something, you're going to write that down. And then later on, of course, you're going to look that up and make sentences using each word so that you can remember these words in the long term. Day 26, day off. So it is day 26 and today you're going to take a well-deserved break because you have been working so hard. So I just want you to relax relax today and enjoy yourself. And only if you want, today you can watch a movie or even listen to American or English music. So just go and enjoy your day off. Day 27, listening. So on day 27, we are going to return to some listening exercises. So I want you to go to BBC's podcast. And what I want you to do is to listen to the same podcast twice and write down any words you don't know. Day 28, reading. So today is day 28 and we're going to repeat what we did again on day 22. So we're going to select another short article from the British Council and I want you to read thoroughly Orally and first silently and then read it out loud and write down any unfamiliar words. And then later on, you can take the test to see whether you understood the passage correctly. Day 29, writing. Oh my gosh, we're almost there at the end. So for day 29, I want you to write about your childhood memory. So this is very interesting, right? Because last time we did something about the future and now we're writing something about the past. And this will help you so much to understand yourself and also to improve your grammar. Today is day 30, you did it! This is the day when you call yourself a hero and you can just congratulate yourself for finishing this 30-day marathon. So you can just take a moment to pat yourself on the back. This is the day you just congratulate yourself for finishing this marathon. Uh, you should, though, take the English language test again on the Cambridge University's English language assessment or the English score by the British uh, Council if you took that on day zero. And you're gonna compare your results with the scores from day zero. I'm absolutely sure you made a huge progress in all the areas that we've been covering for this entire month. All right, you guys, I hope this 30-day challenge was super exciting and helpful. Please share how it went in the comment section below because telling others about your process will also help you and also others with your motivation. And if you like this kind of video, please let me know and I will make more of it. And I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye!